I've been thinking. I've been thinking of you. I've been thinking of me. I've been thinking of us. In a bed. In the Hilton Heights. Looking over a sunset. Thinking about things. Living for today. Living for tomorrow. I've been thinking about us. I've been trying to take things in a different value for us. I've been thinking about how we can be so much That we will never be anything. I've been thinking about how sunlight makes it to the earth to warm the planet, and that without sunlight, there wouldn't be life on earth. But it is sunlight that kills us, destroying the telomeres in our body. I've been thinking. I've been thinking about how the commonly called supermassive black holes aren't actually holes. They're actually spheres that are spaghettified into these like Fuzzy balls, like cat balls in space. And they're often not just one black hole, but many, many, many black holes, all sort of stuck together. I've been thinking about us. I've been thinking about the day I first met you. You were sitting across from me on the couch. You were talking to a mutual friend and saying stuff like, yeah, that, that's cool, I guess. And you seem, you seem nice enough. I've been thinking about how back then I used to see myself as more feminine and now I'm more comfortable feminine and masculine. I've been thinking about us. I've been thinking, I've been thinking about how when I was in an abusive relationship with my long distance lover who was cheating on me with nobody from her hometown, of course, and was doing incredibly inappropriate stuff online. I'm not talking about porn, because I do that too. That's why I'm the bisexual's dream girl because I am both man and woman at the same time. I'm the best of both worlds, unique. I'm masculine, I'm feminine. I have masculine energy, I have feminine energy. I've been thinking about us
I've been thinking if I ever get into Hollywood, I really want to buy you a craft room. I want to buy you a craft mansion. I want to build you a mansion. Maybe not with my own two hands, because I'm not qualified. But I want to build you a mansion. A big, beautiful mansion for you, my big, beautiful man. And I've been thinking about how I'll never cut my hair when I'm in Hollywood. I will have to get really good with the updos. Because the only time I'll cut my hair is when it's reaching my ass. I would leave it to grow longer, but I want to be in Hollywood. And I get this strong feeling that the uh, costume department would get very annoyed with the uh, contract. Because do you realize how hard it is to stick hair that continues for miles on end into a hair containment device so that you can make a person's hair short? Well, maybe I will cut my hair when I'm in Hollywood for the purpose of very, very specific movies, which I will him and haw in before I take and probably take a, I'll need to contract an extra 15% into my uh, fees for this one if I have to cut my hair. I don't like cutting my hair. It's beautiful hair. It helps bring my feminine energy out. Am I a man? No. Am I a woman? Yes. I've been thinking about us. I've been thinking about how much I love you and how I would do anything for you, except maybe murder people. That I will not do. I won't kill people for you. Though somebody is trying to kill you, I will defend you. I will defend your honor, but I won't kill for you. It's not normal. Please do not ask me to do that. This is a Pikachu. I want it for myself. That's right. This is a Sylvia. You bought it for me. Actually, it's an Eevee. I used to have a Sylveon, but it came from a very abusive person and ran away. These are my glasses. They help me see. This is a rabbit. You bought it for me for Easter. It looks kind of like a guinea pig and a rabbit combined. This is Navy bag. You bought it for me from Spencer's. This is a VR headset. You did not buy this for me, but I enjoy it very much. I think you also enjoy it because when you're studying for psychology stuff, it makes it easier because it gives something to distract me with. And I know you enjoy that because then I shut up. I stop talking for a bit. I just wanted to let you know that my glasses were crooked and that I love you.
I love you. Husband.